Welcome back everyone to another Starfield video. In this video, we're gonna talk really quick about inter-system cargo links. That's what this is right here, what this platform is. You use these cargo link, inter-system cargo links, when you are uh, dealing with transferring of materials between different systems. Obviously, if you're in the same system, then you only use a regular cargo link. But a quick thing to note about these inter-system cargo links is they do have to be supplied with helium. And as you can see over here, and by the way, this is pretty much my home base of operations. And this works a lot easier if you kind of have a home base of operations to establish your inter-system cargo links. Because at that home base of operations, you can also have a supply of helium. Now, all you have to do to power your inter-system cargo link is do an output link coming from your helium storage going over to the actual uh, little module over here. This module right here this is what powers the inter-system cargo link or that particular inter-system cargo link. Now, don't make the same mistake I made. And I actually only found out by accident. You do not have to supply helium power to the connected inter-system cargo link that this one is linked up to. See, when I first did it, oh, it was a mess. I, I had... An output link going here to fuel the uh, the actual uh, cargo link thing itself. But then I thought, okay, well, the other cargo link's got to be fueled. I had no helium ava available there. So then I ended up routing helium to the uh, outgoing uh, storage over here. So the ship was transporting helium to the other inter-system cargo link. And then, of course, it would uh, get delivered in the, uh, in the incoming. And then I had to... Uh, put storage for the helium down here and then run an output link up to uh, the little uh, power box here for that particular link. Well, good news, you do not have to power both of your inter-system cargo links. You only have to power one. And that uh, takes me back to my previous uh, mention where I said you'll kind of establish a main home base where you have your uh, cargo links or inter-system cargo links. I mean, it is easier, especially if you're funneling uh, different materials in, like this one here is my tungsten and lead. You know, then I could uh, run these, obviously, to my storage. And then I could run them to uh, fabricators and to warehouses and have a finished product, kind of have one place to do everything. But just make sure you're paying attention to your build limits. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, Intersystem cargo links, you only have to supply power to one of those inter-system cargo links. You do not have to power both of them if they are indeed connected together. And of course, you guys know how to link them together, like right here. I should be linked to, uh, yeah, see, this is coming from Pluto. See, before I was sending uh, helium off to Pluto, or yeah, I was sending helium off to Pluto, so I don't have to do that anymore. So the ship is probably still uh, trying to offload excess helium that it was carrying because it doesn't need to be carrying uh, helium anymore. I didn't have to supply it. So, but yep, other than that, I hope you guys are enjoying your star-filled experience. I know I'm just kind of uh, out there catching up on uh, past quests and working on different builds and whatnot. So I'll see you guys on the next star-filled video. Keep safe.